Well, do you have what it takes to become the next snake charmers dancer and perform in front of hundreds of people at the RGV Vipers game? Well, this weekend is your chance to put those skills to the test. Snake charmers director Amber and second year member Cassie join us now with more on your auditions coming up this weekend. Welcome, ladies. Thank Hi, you. thank, thank you, you for having you. us. It's great to have you. And Amber, let's talk a little bit about the team. I understand this is your first year directing them, so this is exciting. Yes, this is actually my first year directing the Snake Charmers. I was an MBA dancer for the five years prior, so I'm really excited to start directing the girls. Um, the team has been around, actually, this is going to be their 11th season. So they've been around for a while, and they're the official dance team for the RGV Vipers. Awesome. So you see them dancing during halftime, and then they also are required to do appearances as well. Yes, they're out in the community. They do uh, charity appearances, and they do promotional events for the team, and they're also always there as ambassadors for the RGV Vipers. Definitely. So the women that you select, you have to select very carefully. It's not just yes. the dance skills. Cassie, this is your second year being on the team. Talk a little bit about how your experience has been. My experience has been unexplainable. It's honestly an experience that I think every dancer in the Rio Grande Valley should experience because on game days you just get this adrenaline rush. It's unexplainable and I think that every girl in the Valley who's on the fence about trying out should really try it because it's a great experience. Definitely. And one of the things is you need to be in shape. So tell us a little bit about, you know, kind of the benefits of you being on the team. Again, besides, you know, being on the, the middle of the court, center of the court, dancing for everyone. Um, you know, you're out in the community. I'm sure these are teaching you uh, life lessons that you will take in the work industry as well. Right, absolutely. So in the audition uh, segments, we do have interviews. So that does prepare us for job um, interviews that we would have in the future. And going back to being in shape, it also comes in handy because we do get a membership at a gym. So it keeps us in shape. And for tryouts, you don't have to have the best six pack in the world, just <laughs> physically in shape and you'll be fine. And definitely. Amber, let's talk a little bit about the requirements. So the audition is this Saturday. Yes, the audition is this Saturday. Um, the main requirement is that you do need to be 18 and up to audition for the team. You have to have your own means of transportation to and from practices and games. Um, make sure you bring an 8x10 headshot of yourself, a dance resume, and your $25 fee, and you're ready to go. And you're ready to go. And Cassie, let's give the girls a little bit of advice of what they should be wearing this Saturday. Okay, so what we require is basically a two-piece, just as long as you can see your stomach, and wear tights as well. We do accept sho shoes, tennis shoes. Okay. Jazz shoes are as well acceptable, and hair and makeup done as if you would on a g any game day. Yeah, if you've never danced in <laughs> boots, Saturday is not the day to try right. it. <laughs> so right. just wear right. your sneakers. There's right. no pressure. But the good thing is, is tomorrow night you actually have a prep class for the girls, yes. so this is a great chance to kind of get an idea of how auditions are going to go. Yes, tomorrow we have a prep class. It's going to be at the same location as the audition at the Edinburgh Wellness Center and there is going to be two sessions. Um, the, the registration starts at 530 and at these prep classes I'm going to teach uh, two routines and I'm also going to be giving tips and tricks for audition and uh, Q&A with me. Any, any questions that you need answered tomorrow is the time to bring them and ask them to me. And how many girls are you expecting to be at auditions this year? Uh, expecting, I'm hoping a lot. I'm hoping as many girls that are interested in dance will be out there. It's not just a good way to prep for auditions. It's a great way to prep, you know, for any kind of dance class. Just to get out there and moving again is also a good way to be there for prep classes. Awesome. And just um, a last thing for people out there. I did see that people will be selected at the prep class to kind of skip around. So there's right. a benefit to go. Yes, on. there's definitely a benefit. I am going to pick two girls in each session. So four girls total to skip the first round at auditions. Awesome. So yeah, can't beat that. It's this Saturday. Thank you so much, ladies, for joining us. Thank yeah, you for thank having you. us.